What's going on guys, Evolution here and welcome back to some Rust and it's the morning to rise and shine ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to need to grab quite a lot today, we've got a lot to get done. So through the night I was kind of looking at what kind of bits and bobs we needed and I'm afraid to say there's a lot. Uh, one thing that's on my mind is we need to do some looting, we need to do some looting for wood and stones and also we need to do a lot of hunting, we need to kill Kill a few animals, you know, whilst we're on our way. Uh, oh shit, is that a player? I think that's a zombie. There's two wood piles there, I want them. I'm pretty sure it's a zombie the way it's running. If we get our hatchet ready. Oh well, our stone hatchet anyway. Should be able to just sneak around, surely. Hopefully no one's home at base tonight. Let's hope. Have I got a zombie? Hope not. No, I think we're cool. So we've got three wood piles here. It'd be crazy to miss out on the opportunity to get them. That's a lot of wood. Yeah, you see, that's brilliant. Well, hopefully we'll be able to lose him in the rocks and grab that wood, which pretty much ticks off one of the things we needed to complete today, which was collecting a ton of wood. Along with that, we need to collect some uh, stones, but hopefully they shouldn't be as hard to come across. Alright, this is much faster, isn't it? So yeah, guys, let me tell you what we're going to get up to today. So, obviously, the reason we're trying to get all these materials is uh, quite simple, really. I want to uh, start building some armour and uh, some weapons for ourselves as well. And unfortunately, that's going to take a lot of resources. We need to build a workbench, which takes uh, quite a bit of wood and some stones. It takes pretty much all the stones that we've got. So we need to collect some more stones to do that. I also want to look into making a furnace which requires animal fat um, and we haven't got enough animal fat so we can collect some more of that by hunting and also what else do I want to get done today well I worked out during the night guys and we need to get a lot of stuff I'll remember when we go back for now let's just concentrate on staying alive and collecting the goodies we need to get so I'm pretty sure if we if we run back this way through the forest we should get to to some buildings which we can loot. And the good thing about this little location I chose here is we're nice away in the forest away from the road which is kind of a main spawn. I, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. And it also means in the forest obviously lots of uh, resources spawn in like rocks and wood piles which you can obviously gather stuff from. Oh Jesus! I thought that was a rock! <laughs> it just started sprinting off. Jeez, it scared the life out of me. Although I'm not going to complain because we need to get a little... we need to kill a few piggies or two. There we go. Wicked. We got loads of goodies for that. We got raw chicken breasts, we got cloth, and we got animal fat, which is three things we all need, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, we got some stones there as well, which is nice. Should we try and take on the deer? If we sneak up on it. Is that a zombie or is that a player? Hoping it was a zombie. Come back, dear. Nah, we're not gonna have to catch it, are we? Let's leave it. Oh, it's a zombie, it's a zombie, that's cool. We'll leave the zombie to do his tang. I mean zombies aren't a massive threat in this game, they do wander around and you need to be aware of for that for that situation earlier, for instance, I was looking over that base. And it had three wood piles situated right in the, s in the, of the centre, which I needed to get to. And that zombie did kind of stop me from doing that. But if I had some better weapons, then obviously I might be able to just kill it. Oh man, we're getting quite long food, so we should probably take something to eat. We're getting a lot of reds over here. Jeez. Well, there should be some crates over here that which we can loot. There are indeed wicked. So we got a few things there. We got some bandages and we got some ammo. So that's always good. Oh, awesome! There's some more crates over here. What have we got? What have we got? Don't know what that is, but we're going to grab it anyway. Oh, we got more explosive charges as well. 
Uh, we're also getting beaten up by some zombie. But luckily I've got some bandages. And let's cross the road and head over into the forest over here. So we need to look for some more animals, don't we, really? Which I guess the sensible place to find them would be in the forest. So here goes nothing. Oh, there's a stone up there. We can go and get... Is that base over there? Oh, I'm getting beaten up by a zombie. Oh, there's so many rocks over here which we could... Oh, and wood poles. Mr. Zombie, can you leave us alone, please? Gonna try and lose him in the woods. Oh, he's still on us. <laughs> Maybe we can just, like, rape train him and uh, gather the wood as we go round. Yeah, it seems to be working quite well. <laughs> I need to craft a weapon so I can kill zombies because they're bloody annoying. Oh, I got hit by that one. Now we're bleeding. If you guys got any tips on how the hell to get rid of zombies easier than uh, what we're doing now, please be sure to let me know. Well, we've collected quite a lot of wood just by doing this. Oh, he's right on us. Run, 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 run. So, so far, the first two episodes pretty much consisted of being chased by... by zombies and bears and wolves. When is it going to get better for us, guys? Alright, so... Oh, my God. So there, there, there was me thinking, yes, we got rid of the zombie. It's looking good, we're on the bright side, and then the bear comes out of nowhere. There's also a player over there, but we're going to ignore him. Leave him to do his own team. I'm sure he won't bother us. Right, we're in the woods. I think we've got no zombies on us. We're safe to go. Oh, no, but we've got a bear on us. Let's get this wood. Don't, whoa, that's quite a big base over there. We don't really want to go over to that scary looking building. Not, no, thank you. Right, we've still got Mr. Bear on us. Yes, we do. Well, we got a building up here. Let's go check that out, I guess. Unfortunately, we just have to leave what was in the forest there. I mean, we might come across some nice little goodies on our way back to the house, remember, because it's quite, quite in the forest in between some rocks. That's if we can retract our way back there. Hopefully I'll be able to like navigate my way there. Well, let's just hope. But we've got plenty of time to run around and get some loot now. I mean it's only just started getting bright. We came out nice and early in the morning and hopefully no one kind of bothered about thinking about leaving the house yet. So this was kind of the best time to come and do it. Is that another player over there? Yeah he's, he's looking at us but He's also... He's not heading toward us, is he? No, he's cool. Just trying to get my health back up to 100, just so we don't have to be worried if anyone does try to do anything a bit silly. I mean, all we've got is this stone hatchet. It should help if anyone does try to attack us, but I don't know. I'm not sure how powerful this bad boy is. I mean, we could have made the bow, but to be honest, I didn't think it was worth it. I'd rather look into making a pistol or something. Right, let's have a little look around then. So really, let's go check what's in that little building down there. Right, so we've got 192 wood. We haven't got many stones, which is what we needed. Uh, there was a rock in that woods over there, actually, wasn't there? In fact, I think I can see one now. Yeah, alright, let's quickly head over there, try and collect the stuff. Oh, no, the bear's there. Damn it. <laughs> God dang it, bears. Oh, imagine if we could make... Right, you know what? We might have to make a bow, because then I'll be able to hunt the bears and think of what goodies we'd get from killing it. I dare say we'd get a lot of cloth and stuff from the fur. Or maybe we might even get, like, a felt or something. Who knows? Right, so we've got some uh, M4 ammo there. Not that it's any use to us. I mean, I'd rather have 9mm ammo, because I'm most likely to make a pistol before I am a 
full on assault rifle but hey ho I mean it's all worth collecting in the long run positive thoughts at the end of the day hopefully we should have an M4 I need to find some more animals man Ooh. oh metal fragments wicked it's exactly what we needed I mean I know you can craft them I'm pretty sure it's a furnace but I haven't figured it out yet so I don't really want to return yet because we haven't got many many animal fat oh we got stone over there oh we got two deers this is perfect opportunity jackpot baby Friendly man, hey man, I'm friendly. Yeah, wicked. Alright, well, take a note not to, not to join a uh, French server. Luckily, he could have quite easily just shot me then, but it's nice to see that there are some friendly guys out here. But it kind of sucks, because they all talk French, so it makes it kind of impossible to to have a nice little conversation with them. Oh, we've got a deer there. Should we go for it? Well, not going to lie. I was a bit scared right then. So the two deers are back, and I'm going for revenge. Then I think we'll make our way back to the uh, to the house. They might have. They might own one of the massive fortified bases round by where we live, because there's about two bases there. Where's it gone? It like stopped. No, come back. I mean, if we chase for long enough, it's got to stop, surely. Oh, we lost it. There it is. These deers are a pain in the ass to hunt. Right, we'll go for this one. Oh, he stopped as well. Oh, it's tempting. Alright, he he's doesn't even expect us. He's just eating some grass. Eating some grass. And I'm just going to sneak through the grass and then... What's that? I missed every hit then. So, guys, we're just on our way back now. So, to give you a little update, I was running through the woods and I had a nice little encounter with some guy. Uh, he let me live, and I also found a crate um, full of a bow, and I think there were six arrows and a flare as well, which was awesome. And I actually managed to hunt my first wolf, um, and unfortunately I wasn't actually recording at the time, because I thought I was just going to go straight back to base. Uh, but yeah, so I killed my first wolf, which was awesome. It dropped like I could gather so many uh, resources from it, it was unreal. We got loads of cloth from it, which is wicked, because we need it. Uh, and I said I also got this bow and arrow which is pretty cool and we got the paper earlier oh it's paper it looks so much cooler when picked up but we're back now and we can uh, get crafting I guess so let's just store everything away first see what we're playing with oh no I'm doing this the wrong way around aren't I? I'm supposed to put it in the actual chest alright so we've got pebbles let's put them away so we've actually got only 11 stones. Oh wait, no, 24 stones. Awesome. We got 45 animal fat, 35 chicken breast. That's wicked. Uh, we can put that in there. We can put that in there. We got about 400 wood on us, which again is pretty mind blowing. I oh, know we got way over that. We got just over 600. That's wicked. So I think that's about all that we're going to be able to uh, put away for now. Let's have a quick munch. I'm gonna cook up our food as well. In fact, or we can do that at night time. We'll do that at night time. So now we've got the animal fat we needed, and I believe we just needed cloth, was it? We got 45 cloth, that's wicked. Alright guys, this is awesome. So let's build a sleeping bag. There we go, craft that. We're also going to want to make where was it? A crafting table. 
so once I find it in this list okay workbench sorry which once we've crafted this sleeping bag we'll have to craft that I believe we just needed some stones for that so if we quickly get some of them out we've got 24 I mean it's a fair amount it should get us done what we need to get done so we need 8 stones and 50 wood to do that so let's make the workbench so I think this allows us to do more advanced crafting etc the next thing to look onto then is probably the furnace so let's have a little look alright we can't look at the moment so what I wanted to show you guys is I actually made some wooden planks which is uh, one wooden plank is ten wood and we can actually use that to build individual building parts so for instance let's scroll down part so we can actually build found foundations for an actual house so I want to expand our house a bit so we can build two wood foundations whilst we're at it so, oh no okay so it requires eight wood planks so we've only got 15 so let's make some more wooden planks since we've got plenty of wood at the moment uh, but then let's craft I know 21 wood planks there we go so that's going to take 40 seconds or so so that means what we can do is outside we can expand it onto this and we'll have a nice little nice little fort going we should also probably make some more arrows and uh, I said we'll look into the furnace as well but right now we're kind of running out of space in our little in our little love shack over here so that's why we need to craft some foundations to make it a bit bigger and whilst we're waiting I guess we might as well chuck this food on uh, ignite, wicked, that's cooking away I'll put them back away gonna want them we don't need these rocks they're kinda pointless so we'll just chuck them out of our inventory now if we finish crafting the planks I believe we have so we've got 36 planks so what we're gonna want is a wood foundation let's make one of them uh, yeah let's do one for now so they take 60 seconds so what can we do in the meantime in the meantime, well, there's nothing much we can do at the moment, I guess. Let's try and put some of this stuff away. What do we need? So, pebbles, we're probably going to want wood. We need to place them later on. There's our arrows. In fact, we even got the arrows back, which are quite cool. We need the animal fat so we can make low grade fuel for something. I can't remember what we need it for, but there was a reason. It's in my head for some sort of plan. Crafting. So, we can actually make armour as well. Uh, which requires cloth and since we've got a lot of it now as long as nothing else requires cloth we could probably go ahead and make some we've got 15 seconds left on that alright so that's done now so do arrows need cloth? no they don't so we could actually make some arrows if we wanted to low quality metal right we needed low quality metal to do what make a 9mm pistol was it I think that was what it was guys let's have a look yeah alright so we need metal fragments to make low quality metal and we need low, quali low quality metal to make a 9mm pistol so that's what the metal fragments are for so we can put them back away for now and since we've got everything else on us we could let's have a look gunpowder, how do you make gunpowder, ok now uh, we should probably look into how to make just trying to find it, what, pipe shotgun wow, hunting bow no that's not the one what am I looking for, there's something I'm looking for I will see it in a sec furnace, that was the one, so we need low grade fuel, to make low grade fuel we need animal fat and cloth oh so, right, we should be able to go make make 10 of it awesome, right so go ahead and make 10 low grade fuel so we can make a furnace uh, what else do we need right so yeah let's also build some more building parts down here so we're probably going to want we're going to need wood walls aren't we oh and you need two pillars for them to go in between so you want two, four I think we need six pillars so that's going to cost us another twelve wooden planks and then we're going to need another additional three walls is it So 
a low grade fuel where is our furnace then it's down here somewhere I'll get ready to do that next shall we and we've only got seven seconds left of the crafting I do like the kind of crafting it's pretty simple it tells you the recipes and it tells you what you need and I kind of like the aspect where it takes time to do it such that's quite cool obviously you can move around and do other things but you do walk kind of at a slow pace but if there are multiple things to kind of do and I guess it's fine but at the moment like me where I can only really do one thing at once it's a bit annoying so we've got the furnace we've got our low grade fuel down oh yeah the low grade fuel is for the furnace we've got a sleeping bag we've got wall foundations and we've got a workbench so we need to place them down at some point and we should have the wood pillars any second now oh no we're doing the furnace weren't we so let's make some wood pillars whilst we're here so how many of them did we need let's try and remember oh no we've got them there we go six wood pillars that was lucky so now we just need some walls so let's make three wood walls and that's going to make an, um, take another 20 seconds lovely uh, 60 seconds I'm losing the plot here guys I can't can't speak uh, and we're going to need a doorway as well oh we need a wooden we actually need a doorway along with a door I meant to say a door let's uh, take something to eat just boost our food up how is our cooking doing awesome that's all cooked let's put them in our storage also we've got some charcoal there which we can we can use I think we need to use it in the furnace or well, it might be for crafting I'm not too sure we might as well cook the other eight whilst we're here let's split these up there we go and then ignite that wicked and has our crafting completed its little job it's still crafting away uh, five seconds remaining awesome so now we need is a doorway and we should be ready to rock and roll so the the reason I'm kind of laying this out like this I know it may be a bit boring but hopefully this is helping you guys understand how to do this so if you guys have got the game then you'll be able to kind of follow my footsteps but it's quite a simple game you just need to go and grab the resources don't you and now we just need a door I mean I'd love to have a metal door but I doubt we can we need 200 metal fragments for that we've only got 11 but hopefully we should be able to start making our own metal fragments sooner or later so let's get our pillars and all our wood bits on us let's go outside and expand the base 